Now, dear students, we will discuss this heterotrophic nutrition in our next class. In this class, we are focusing in autotrophic nutrition. As we all know that all the green plants does their food. They make their food, right? And by the process which is called photosynthesis. In this picture, here you can see this is a plant, right? So plant takes sunlight, takes carbon dioxide present in the air and chlorophyll. This chlorophyll is a substance. It is a pigment. Pigment means color producing substance. So this chlorophyll itself is present in the leaves of green plants. Okay. So it takes this chlorophyll, it takes carbon dioxide from the environment and sunlight. And through roots, it takes up water that I have written here H2O. H2O is the formula of water. So water it takes from the soil. This water has also different minerals in it. Okay. This water it takes up through the roots and it comes in their leaf. It takes carbon dioxide from the environment through the stomata present in the leaves. Now you must be thinking what are stomatas? Stomatas are some minute pores present in the leaves of plant. In the lower surface of the leaf, the number of stomata is higher than the upper surface of the leaf. There are certain pores in the leaves through which carbon dioxide goes into the leaf. It takes the sunlight and chlorophyll already is there in the leaves. Water it takes up from the soil through the roots and it makes its food. This food is glucose. This food is glucose. So this process in which the process in which green plants make their own food in the leaves with the help of sunlight, carbon dioxide and water. This process is called photosynthesis. Photo means light. Synthesis make means to make. That's why the name is photosynthesis. They make their food with the help of sunlight. This is the re chemical reaction of photosynthesis. Here you can see carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll produce glucose. It is a carbohydrate. It is the simplest form of carbohydrate, glucose. And also with this uh, glucose, in this reaction, oxygen produces. This oxygen, it, uh, some of it is taken up by the plant itself to do respiration, the breakdown of food. It, or the plant also need to break down it, its food and release energy for itself and uh, the most part of it is released by the plant in the environment which we take to live. 
I uh, quickly reply, uh, repeating this reaction carbon dioxide, water in the presence of sunlight, and chlorophyll produces glucose and oxygen. Carbon dioxide formula is CO2 and water formula is H2O, right? Glucose, the formula of glucose we write C6, H12 and O6. In the glucose there are 6 carbon, okay? Carbon atoms are there and hydrogen 12 hydrogen atoms and 6 oxygen atoms is there in the glucose. Now, as I have said, this whole photosynthesis process, it occurs in the leaves. Here, this is a broad picture of a part of leaf. As you can see here, so in the leaf, the upper surface of the leaf, there is epidermal layer. These cells are epidermal cells. These cells are called epidermal cells. They are like cover, covering. Very thin layer of cell is there. It acts as a covering for the leaf. Now, after that, there are some elongated cells. These cells are called Pellicid parenchyma cells. These are called pellicid parenchyma cells. In these pellicid parenchyma cells, these red colored dots, if you can see, there are some red colored dots I have given. These are chloroplasts. Now, what is chloroplast? Chloroplast, it is a cell organelle. Cell organelle means present in the plant cell. So, pellicid parenchyma cell in, in, inside it there is a there are chloroplasts. Okay. After this elongated cells layer of cells there is some spherical cells which we call spongy parenchyma cells. Spongy parenchyma cells. In these spongy parenchyma cells, also there are chloroplasts. Now students, inside this chloroplast, there is chlorophyll. So, the photosynthesis also occur inside these cells. Because there is the chlorophyll. After this spongy cells, pellicid cells, there is again epidermal, lower epidermal cells. Lower epidermal cells. This is the upper surface of the leaf. And this is going through them. We, are, we have reached in the lower surface of the leaf. There is all, again there is epidermal. There is also again a covering. In the upper uh, surface there was a covering. In the lower surface there is also a covering. In between those covering layers, there is pellicid parenchyma cells and spongy parenchyma cells which contain chloroplast in them and in those chloroplast cells, cell organelles, the photosynthesis occur actually. In this lower epidermal cells, some cells convert them into stomatal, stomatal cells. These cells are called guard cells. They somehow they change their shape and they act as guard cells. They, they, those cells are called guard cells which make stomata. Okay. In between the guard cells there is a pore that is called stomata. So guard cells make stomata. This is the diagram of stomata. This pore is called stomata or stoma you can say. And these two bean shaped or kidney shaped cells are called guard cells. So guard cells make stomata. 
and these cells as you can see here are adjacent cells of these guard cells when water with minerals come inside these guard cells these guard cells become turgid they swell up and they form this stomata they take this shape and form this stomata when the water goes again in into this adjacent cells from the guard cells the guard cell become flaccid become they become flaccid they become like this and closes them when water with mineral goes into the adjacent cells from the guard cells these guard cells close themselves stomata become closed no carbon dioxide can go outside from inside or from to inside from outside there is no not only carbon dioxide no other gas can enter and exit okay so this is the flaccid condition of guard cells and when they the water in, gets into these guard cells they swell up and take a shape of this and then and then the stomata again open so this is the whole process of photosynthesis that we have discussed in the class now let's have a quick look so in today's class what we have learned we have learned that nutrition is the process in which organism either it is plant or animal or any microorganism any small creature they take up their food and utilize this food to get energy is called nutrition nutrition is of two types autotrophic and heterotrophic autotrophic means make their own food for example green plants and heterotrophic nutrition is the process in which organism make cannot make their own food they have to depend for food on others like animals like human being and some plants that we will discuss in our next class then we have also understand that what is photosynthesis is photo in the photosynthesis the green plants takes up with the help of carbon dioxide and water and sunlight in the presence of chlorophyll make their own food called glucose and also release oxygen in the environment this is photosynthesis this carbon dioxide they take up through the stomata in their leaves and chlorophyll is present in the mesophyll cells this pellicid parenchyma and spongy parenchyma both of them are called mesophyll cells so the chlorophylls are present in the chloroplast which is present in the mesophyll cells so students if this to uh, this discussion become useful for you then comment in the comment box and from today onward i will be asking you a question on the topic that has been discussed in the class and you will give me the re reply in the comment box okay so today's question listen it very carefully what is that green pigment present in the leaves that help in photosynthesis 
you all will give me reply in the comment box i will be waiting for your reply so for today i am bidding you bye so see you in my next class thank you